ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐ ஆம் டாக்டர் புவனேஸ்வரி ஐ ஆம் அ மெடிக்கல் டைரக்டர் ஆஃப் ஜிபிஆர் ஃபர்டிலிட்டி சென்டர் அண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி ஹாவ் அ இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் ரிப்ரோடக்டிவ் மெடிசன் அண்ட் டாக்டர் ரேலா இன்ஸ்டியூட் அண்ட் மெடிக்கல் சென்டர் அண்ட் க்ரோபேட் சென்னை ஸோ டுடே ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ரிகார்டிங் புவர் ஓவேரியன் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் Uh, we are going to see more and more nowadays uh, people having a less number of uh, oocytes that is less number of eggs and again the success is going down because of the less number of eggs or some people they are not even having a few oocytes one or two also we are not able to get it so what is the reason for this one is that late marriages and advanced age and sometimes because of autoimmune process genetic disorders sometimes we repeat a surgery they would have gone undergone a repeated surgeries like endometriotic surgeries where ovarian tissue is lost some people have gone for any cancer therapy and uh, these are the situations we are seeing but uh, uh, there are some conditions we are seeing even at younger age around 30 32 years uh, patients having very poor response in spite of us giving higher dose of injections Uh, we are not able to get even one or two oocytes so when you when do you call it as poor ovarian reserve or response because when you have less than 5 that is the cut off in every study is they proven that when the women has less than 5 follicles or 5 oocytes then they are considered as a poor responder again their amh level if it is less than 1.2 if their fsh level is more than 10 if they have a less number of oocytes on the day 2 uh, less number of follicles and the follicle that is what we call it as baseline follicular count is very less less than 5 and these are the patients we will be terming them as poor responders or poor uh, people with poor ovarian reserve for uh, those situations uh, what do we do we have to first of all rule out any genetic disorder if they are aged definitely we have to consider it's a biological phenomena but if they are young and poor ovarian reserve then we have to rule out definitely uh, premature ovarian failure or uh, poor uh, ovarian insufficiency due to any genetic disorder like turner syndrome or some other chromosomal problems so we once we do that uh, ruling out then we have to consider treating them with some adjuvants like androgen like uh, testosterone medicines some injectables what we will be giving for them to increase it Uh, ovarian reserve all these medicines like a tablets or gel forms or injections only to a certain extent we can give and they will improve the ovarian reserve they will only increase the number not the quality there are few papers which they are saying that by uh, doing some regeneration methods uh, like ovarian uh, tissue injection of uh, platelet or prp or when we derive a bone marrow derived stem cells are injected into the ovarian tissue or into the ovarian artery they say that there is some amount of improvement is there but these are all experimental studies and only very few number of cases are reported we have to only try on those patients who are genetically normal who are young or who won't have only their own biological child and when they have very less ovaries or very less oocytes or only one or two heads so those situations we have to consider them for any uh, newer technique which even though which is an experimental or this a uh, only having a small study evidence and next what do we do and these patients when we do uh, counseling uh, we have to properly counsel for the type of treatment higher dose of injections and again different types of protocols so to get the maximum number of eggs as i said we will be using some adjuvants like for some medications before starting the iv program or during the program again we will be doing a different kind of protocol where we use higher dose of our medications and different kind of protocols at the same time we also do there is a new protocol called dual stimulation this is what i am going to explain here these patients when we stimulate per cycle it will be like one or two eggs so again we have to wait for the another cycle then take one or two cycles like who said pulling already i would have said in many videos when they have very poor ovarian reserve we will be doing multiple cycles to have a pulling of who said and then mixing then we do a good embryo transfer after that but what happens instead of wasting time 
and there are patients who are in the elderly age group we don't have much time instead of doing that we can do in the same cycle dual stimulation double stimulation we'll start with your cycle do an injections and then egg pick up will be done do ivf and keep some embryos then give three four break break then again we restart the stimulation like that by doing these methods we can get in the same cycle instead of two follicles uh, four or five follicles and five oocytes is possible uh, that is what the most of the studies have said so we'll be doing this newer technique called dual stimulation to get maximum number of eggs once we get it we do it see and then we will freeze the embryos once we freeze the embryos again uh, before freezing to know that whether they are good quality embryos or not for these patients it is justified to do a pgs or pgt if they have any genetic disorder if they don't have just because of the poor ovarian reserve and only having few number of cells we want to be sure about the euploidy rate we will be doing pgs or pgt depending on the requirement for the why do we do that when the patients are very young around 30 years we know that their euploid healthy embryos uh, risk is that around 60% of the time their embryos will be all right if you are about 35 to 40 years then your healthy embryo uh, risk like that is the high risk of abnormality is there chromosomal abnormality is there only 30% of the time will be having a good quality healthy embryos at the same time if you are more than 42 43 years old your uh, chances of having a good quality embryo is only 10 to 20% that is where we are saying that more than 80% of the embryos will be very abnormal so we cannot transfer those embryos without knowing their potential that is the reason it is an optional so we have to if they are you are already gone through many cycles and you are in the age of uh, around 35 plus and you already have only very few embryos we might as well do a pro pgd or pgs to know the uh, healthiness of the embryo and then you can get the embryo transfer this way you have a higher chances for pregnancy at the same time we have to also make sure that your uterine side also is everything is perfect once embryos are good then your uterine side also we have to focus make sure that your uterus has a good receptivity good blood flow and there is no fibroids no polyps no adenomyosis and everything should be no doubt then if you do the pgs or pgt and have a good healthy embryos the chances for pregnancy at any age group is a uh, very good that is what all the comparative studies are saying like uh, because age is the main predictor of the pregnancy outcome so this poor pregnancy or uh, this poor ovarian reserve is always a limiting factor for uh, any success in the treatments of infertility so we need to focus selection of the proper protocols and the selection of the embryos by morphologically and by seeing the good quality embryo we using some technology that is different aspect at the same time we have to see genetically or chromosomally the embryos are good or not by doing some pre genetic uh, diagnosis so these are the gist of the uh, treatment protocols what we use at our ivf center we generally do a proper analysis of the patients we give them a pre uh, once they are diagnosed as poor ovarian reserve people we do proper counseling we give them a three months of medications to improve their ovarian reserve or any technology which can improve them depending on their indications either regenerative therapy or medical therapy and then we will program them with dual stimulation and pooling of oocytes will be done and in case if that is uh, any uh, suspicion of a chromosomal or genetic abnormality we do pre genetic screening of the embryos and then we freeze the embryos and transfer the good quality embryos so that is why we will be able to give a good uh, success in the cases of very elderly age group or people who have a poor ovarian reserve i hope this is uh, very useful to you and uh, you can share and you can comment about this and you can share this video to your friends and family who are having the fertility issues and if you have any queries you can call our helpline and uh, anyway you can come on online consultation also for your further uh, queries or uh, questions thank you